Hi everyone. Yesterday in the group there was a post about the corners on the Harlequin pouch and the question was how do you get the corners to sit out nice and square rather than being tucked in around where the zipper tab is and I said that I would make a video to show how I do it. So here is a Harlequin pouch I have made before and you can see the corner here is pretty nicely shaped and it's not tucked in under the tab at all. So I'm gonna show you how I sew my pouches so that you know how I do my corners like this. This one is a canvas exterior. I'm gonna be using vinyl today um, so that I can show you how I do it and it should work with the different um, material types. I think if you're using vinyl and waterproof canvas, it still might be a little bit bulky in the corner, but hopefully if you use the techniques that I'm gonna show you, it will help you have a bit more of a square shape on your corner. So let's get going. So the first thing that I do, so I've got my lining pieces and my exterior pieces, and I just did solid pieces for today just so that it would be quick for me to get it done for you. So the first thing that I'm going to do is show you how I do my zipper because the zipper install is going to affect how your corner is going to look. So I don't actually do my zippers the way that Leanne does them in the pattern. So I will show you how I do it. Everyone obviously has their own preferences. So I use zipper by the yard. I like to have a piece that is at least as long or as wide as my exterior. So I have that. And then I will just quickly put that together. Where did I put my pole? So this is just to show you the length. So let me put my zipper on. Okay. And then I'm just going to sew on my zipper tab. So stand by, I'm gonna do that real quick. So my zipper tab is only on one end of my zipper and I'm gonna use the butler method to put the zipper in or an adaptation of the butler method. The way that I do that is you need double-sided tape. I take my double-sided tape and I measure in about three quarters of an inch and I usually just eyeball it. I don't necessarily use a ruler to do it, but three quarters of an inch in from the side here and then all the way to the end and then mirrored on the other side. And then the same thing on your exterior. Just going across the top there with the double sided tape. And then you're going to match up, you want to have the gaps at the same end. So this is the exterior back, this is the lining back, so you want to have the gap at the same end. And then this is my lining piece. So I'm just going across there again, get the zipper out of the way. And then stop that at about three quarters of an inch and then you can see there there's a gap at the end so you can see those four pieces like that with the gaps here so I'm gonna put the back pieces aside for now I will need my ruler then I get my zipper take off the double-sided tape now measuring in again I like to measure in five eighths, and that is where I start my zipper tab. So sorry, I want to do face down. Five eighths in from this end, and then stick that down with the double sided tape, and then there's a gap at the end. Okay, then I take my corresponding lining piece, do the same thing, take off the tape, Stick that down directly on the top. Okay, now flip that over, put my ruler in, oops, and I'm going to measure 
three quarters of an inch in from the end, and I'm going to mark that. Now I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine, and I will sew along here until I get to this point, and then I'm going to do the end of the zipper, and I'll show you that in just a second. So using my zipper foot, I'm going to sew at three-eighths of an inch from the edge. My zipper is here underneath. So starting from all the way at the end, I just like to start in a little bit and then back stitch, And then just sewing along here. To my zipper pull, just slide that out of the way. Then I'm going to stop when I get to the pen mark that we made earlier. Lift the presser foot, unzip the zipper, and I'm going to pull it out 90 degrees. I like the reason that I have my zipper tape as long as the exterior is that it gives me a nice long tail to hold on to when I do this part. And then I go, keep going over. I like to back stitch there. Back again. And then the other thing that I like to do at this point is back stitch again to just before the zipper teeth. And then I like to turn it and I sew next to the zipper teeth here too while I'm holding that out of the way. This is a nylon zipper so I can sew over it. see here that's one side of the zipper done so I'm going to repeat that on the other side and then we can sew that too this vinyl that I'm using here is a little bit thick so it's just sticking up a little bit so you can finger press that or if you have one of these similar things you can use that to flatten it a bit or you can top stitch it before you move on to the next side. I'm going to do the other side first enough to keep changing my zipper foot, my presser foot. So take your other exterior, take the tape off, and then you're just gonna lay that down there. So you're gonna do the same thing, and you're going to come in the same distance. You're gonna come in 5 eighths of an inch from the edge, and that is where you're going to start your tab and then just stick that down all the way across. Now, before I attach the lining piece, I like to check that it's lined up okay. So when you lay it down, are your corners gonna match up? And that looks reasonably good. I could probably just wiggle over a tiny bit. And then you can just stick that back down if you need to move it. Then take your other lining piece. And now you're going to put that on the top there. Put that all the way across. Then you're going to mark 3 eighths of an inch on this side too. I mark three eighths of an inch based on the exterior piece, not on the lining piece. And then the other thing that I like to do is I just fold that in. And I just like to see where the other zipper turn is here. I don't know if you can see that. The little where it turns here, where it tucks into the fabric. Hold on, sorry, let me focus that. There you go. So I just like to see where that is, and then I kind of crease that there, and that's right around where that line is, so that'll be fine. So now I'm going to go back to the machine. I'm going to sew across here. When we get to here, I'm going to leave the needle in, lift the presser foot, turn that to the side, and go across the edge again. So the same as we did on the other side, sewing with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance, my zipper foot. Line, 
raise the presser foot, pull the zipper tape out 90 degrees, lower the presser foot and sew up the top, back stitch, all the way to the end, and then I sew back again. Then when I get to the teeth, raise the presser foot, turn the project, and then just sew off the end there, just to give that zipper a nice angle there. All right, then I'm going to go and trim the two zipper end bits, and then we'll be ready to top stitch. So you can see here I have my pieces of my pouch, my four pieces, my two exterior pieces and my two lining pieces, all sewn together around the zipper. And you can see that there. So now I'm going to top stitch the exterior panels. I don't top stitch through the lining and I'm going to sew from one end all the way to the other. So I fold the lining out of the way like that and I actually put a little bit of double-sided tape under here because this vinyl is so thick it was having trouble staying flat just with finger pressing so I just put some double-sided tape on that to hold that down I'm going to sew all the way down this side and then I'm going to turn I'm going to sew all the way down that side keeping the lining out of the way so let's do that Now we have the exterior top stitching done, it's time to construct the pouch. So open up your zipper and then you're going to want to line up your edges. The first thing that I do is line up the exterior. So where the exterior meets the lining, your lining is all the way out of the way because you didn't top stitch it down. That works on Leanne's pattern without you needing to make any adjustments because she specifically wrote the lining piece to be smaller than the exterior piece so you don't have to grade that at all. For some patterns you will have to take a grade to seam allowance so that your lining is not baggy otherwise sometimes it can get caught in the zipper because you haven't top stitched that down. So you're going to first of all line up your exterior pieces and I actually like to staple this. So I have my stapler. Let me grab that real quick. So I like to line up the two pieces right there and you can see that they're lined up and then I staple within the seam allowance. Just staple right through and then that just holds those two bits together so that you have nice neat corners and then I repeat on the other side. This final is really thick and I interfaced it so it's just a little thick for my stapler. There we go. Okay so they're stapled together there and then I'm going to get clips and I'm going to clip around all of the edges leaving a gap in my lining to turn. So now I'm just going to go around the edge and sew all around. When I get to the corner where the tab is, you just keep the same seam allowance of 3 eighths of an inch and just sewing all the way around. And then we will get to how to make your corners nice and neat when you turn it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now.
Okay, so now the time has come to turn our pouch out. I've boxed all the corners. So the first thing you gotta do is remove your staples from where you stapled the exterior together. Now, a lot of people say to trim your seam allowance to reduce the bulk in your corners, and that is something that I don't do. The reason that I don't do it is because instead, I like to fold the seam allowance open. If I trim it, then there's still gonna be a little bit sticking out. If I fold it, then there's enough space there to kind of round it out once the bag is turned. So I don't trim my seam allowance there. So what I'm gonna do now is turn the bag out and then I'm gonna poke out the corners and show you how they look. So the first corner, which is the open end of the zipper, you just put your hand in through the lining and just kind of fold that open there. And then you can see that that's got a pretty neat finish there. The tricky corner is the one with the tab. Now, if you do the zipper the way that um, it's written in the pattern, then both of your ends will have the tab. So what you want to do is stick your finger inside of your bag, find where your tab is here, and you want to push it from here where everything all joins together. So I just get my finger in there and I just give it a good push, supporting it from the other side, push it right out, push it right out from the inside. And the seam allowance kind of opens out a little bit. And there you can see you have a pretty neat corner. So the other thing that I like to do is kind of fiddle around with the tab a little bit, make sure the tab is pulled all the way out. Now this lining obviously is not closed. I'm gonna do that in a minute. I'm gonna attach a D-ring here before I close it. So you can see though, that you've got pretty neat corners. Sorry, the angle of this camera is not amazing. So the, here, let me see. Let's really show you all. You can see you've got a pretty neat square corner on both ends. And there you go. So I'm going to close, I'm going to put my deering on there. I'm going to close my lining and then I'll grab a picture so you can see the finished product in a still. And then I'll get this video posted for you. All right. I hope that helps. Thanks everyone.